to exhort you with this verse in Hebrews 7, verse 2. It says, And to him, Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything. He is first, by translation of his name, king of righteousness, and then he is also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. Um, what I like about this verse is that I know that when we give, it's actually our heart checks, you know. Um, who here, some of us here, when we give monthly or weekly, it's actually a breakthrough for us to be able to give. And um, when we do give, it's our heart check that we're putting, that God is still the Lord of our, of our lives. And we're, we're giving to Him a tenth, a portion of everything, of the things that we have in our lives. And um, just like Abraham, he... He had a son and to the point of actually having to sacrifice his son, he committed to doing that because he knew who his God is. Do we know who our God is? Yeah. yeah. And the second thing that I want to impress on this verse is that um, Abraham is the father of all nations. And, you know, when he gave, God is saying that, God is not actually limited to only bless Abraham and his family, but God also used him to bless the people around him. And, um, just like, you know, the God who gave Abraham his son, the God who led Moses into the, the, the promised land, is still the same God that will give us all of the things that we need. God is still, he's still the same God that will supply the things that we need. And with that, I just want to be in the attitude of, of thankfulness and in prayer. So why don't we pray? Father God, we want to thank you for your faithfulness. Um, Lord, for this year, the new year that has come, Lord, we thank you because, you know, the same God that brought us to, to the things that we have now last year, um, we thank you, God, because you're still that same God. You're still the, the God who, who is a promise keeper, Father. And we thank you, God, because as we give, we just want to give back to you everything that you have given us. We just want to be in, in the attitude of, you know, um, being known that you are still our Lord and we are still able to put you in everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.